guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to film a tiny little skincare haul. This is a brand I've wanted to try out for a long time, so if you're interested, just keep watching. So I was personally very excited when I got home and I saw this cute box sitting on our steps. Oh my gosh, I love this packaging. It's so simple, but they did the tape and I think it's just so adorable. So I don't usually order from brands' websites. But I decided to order from Herbivore's website because they had a killer discount code. They were doing 25% off for their birthday and I had heard nothing but good things about this brand. My friend uh, Davina cannot stop raving about their blue tansy mask. She tells me that it is such a good dupe for the Sunday Riley um, Luna Oil. Yeah, the Luna Oil, which is the blue one. and. Then I saw they did a little set of the rose and like their rose products and I was like, oh my god. I was just like salivating for that on Sephora's website, but I refused to pay. Oh my god, this box is a fucking puzzle. I refused to pay full price for it. So I was so excited when I saw a sale and then they weren't really doing free shipping for like under $50. So I was like, fuck it, let me just get a bunch of shit. So yeah, here's what the box looks like. Oh my gosh, there are so many worms in here. Oh God. Thank you for packaging your stuff so well. Yep, this is, ah! Guys, if you are a YouTube content creator, let me know how much, like, packaging you throw out in a week. I can't believe how many fucking worms they put in this box. Holy crap, Herbivore. Now I have little worms everywhere. Whatever. Okay, let me show you guys what I got. Ooh, this packaging. It's so cute. I got more things. I got more things. I know I did. Oh my goodness, I feel so spoiled right now. Okay guys, like how cute is this stuff? Look at this. Oh, I love this packaging. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Coco Rose Lip Conditioner and it has coconut oil and it says lightweight and deeply moisturizing organic virgin coconut oil and hydrating rose absolute combined to help protect smooth and soften lips. This product works wonders when layered with our lip tint or used as a standalone lip healing treatment. And you guys know this is gonna come so, so in handy in the winter time here in Fargo. And I am such a freaking coconut whore. Like, I love coconut anything. So I'm really excited for this. Oh yeah, it's it smells more rose. It actually smells a lot like the Dior um, rose lip balm. But you guys, I have like a sick obsession with like lip balms, <laughs> especially like lip balms that are like trending on the internet. Here are the ones by Glossier. Look, I'm actually working on finishing these up, which is pretty amazing. I always put lip balm at night before I go to bed. I have the Brazilian Kiss by uh, Sol de Janeiro. This one is not very good in my opinion and i also have the sugar fresh oh my god i could not say no to this the coconut hydrating lip balm they also have a lemon one on their website but it hasn't come to sephora yet i'm so depressed about it but i love this guy and it's like a flat like how cute is that and then of course i had to try the dior creme de rose balm as you guys can see i've made quite a huge dent in that so I love a good balm so i love this packaging i love that it's elegant it's a little glass pot. It's gonna be beautiful in my everyday makeup drawer, so I'm excited for that. Next thing I got is something I've seen all over the freaking internet, and I'm so freaking excited. This is a jade roller, and it is made from 100% jadeite and brass. So you guys have probably seen all kinds of people on the internet using these, and my friend Davina again said, she loves the jade rollers. She said it is so good at re relieving stress on her face. And it, she didn't even realize how much stress she carried on her face until she got one. 
They also have a rose quartz one. This one was a little bit cheaper, so I bought the jade one. The rose quartz one was like 40 bucks. So I decided to wait. This one, the wheel. Is it supposed to make that sound? Do you guys hear that? <laughs> so I will try this on my face. It's supposed to have a lot of skincare benefits, so read up on it. I don't want to rub it on my face right now because I have makeup on, so I'm going to wait. Not a savage. Next is the Blue Tansy. So, the Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. The amazing curative power of Blue Tansy Oil combined with the Alpha and Beta Hydrox Acids provides by, provided by papaya and pineapple enzymes makes this an unparalleled clarifying experience. For your complexion, you can kiss unwanted outbreaks and redness, dark circles, and inflammation goodbye. Bah. And then the Lapis is a balancing facial oil. The highly concentrated oil blend is ideal as a daily moisturizer and uniquely formulated for oily combination and acne prone skin. It reduces the appearance of redness and breakouts while also helping prevent future outbreaks of uh, balancing excess oil production. So I don't have oily skin, but I feel like this is going to do some good. So I what I did is... I bought sets. I bought the minis because I have so much skincare right now. I'm trying out Drunk Elephant. I have my Sunday Riley stuff that is already good and I know works for me. Um, but yeah, I was just curious to see if this would be a good dupe for the Sunday Riley stuff because then I would need to purchase the more expensive stuff. But how cute is that? And this would make such a cute little gift. Like if you have a friend that's really into skincare, I know these sets are available on Sephora as well. I just bought them because they were on sale on Herbal Wars website. So very exciting packaging. How cute. This is the one that made me place the order. I was dying to try this. This is the Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water, um, the Brightening Pineapple Gemstone Glow Mask. There is a Phoenix Reinvigorating Facial Oil and a Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisturizing Cream. And it's a mini collection. Oh my goodness. This is such a cute gift idea for a friend or maybe like a girlfriend or God, I don't know. Buy it for yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. <laughs> God, I'm obnoxious. Okay. So cute. Ah, this is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. How cute is this? So it says, welcome to the skincare of the future. Truly natural, plant-based, formulated with tangible, oh, tangible results. You can see and feel. No synthetics required. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's all so cute and little, and the packaging is, like, just so adorable. So, yeah, how fun is that? Such a great way to try out some skincare. 39 bucks, so you're paying, like, 10 bucks a bottle of whatever all of this is, which I think is great. So... I'm going to test this stuff out and I will come back and review it sometime for you. I think what I'll end up doing is more like an MT style video. So once I get through everything, I will review it for you. Otherwise, you might see it in an MT's video. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you prefer. Okay, guys, that is everything I got from Herbivore. I really am so excited to try their brand. I will go ahead and link them down below if you guys have never heard of them. Um, they are also sold on Sephora.com as well. And yeah, let me know what your favorite product from them is and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.